Hi and welcome to another Buddhist video. Today we are going to discuss the meaning of Namo Tatsa Bhagavato. I'm sure as a Buddhist you heard about this chanting. But have you ever wondered what it means and why we say it? It is the duty of every Buddhist to pay homage to the Buddha before the commencement of any Buddhist recital. The following sentences in Pali should be recited thrice, and only after that does one take refuge in the Triple Gem. This is done as a mark of respect for the great virtues and wisdoms of the Buddha in order to gain confidence, devotion and inspiration in the Buddha. So in Pali we say, Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhasa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhasa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhasa So, Namo means I pay homage. Tassa means to him. Bhagavato is the blessed one. Arahato is the worthy one. Samma Sambuddhasa is the fully enlightened one. To become a Buddhist, one must take refuge in the Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha for one's guidance. All those who are already Buddhists are encouraged to reiterate the acceptance of the Holy Triple Gem, Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha in their daily life. The Buddha was the holiest, most virtuous, wisest and the most spiritually perfect personality who had ever lived. His Dhamma, the doctrine, is the ultimate truth about the universe which explains the real nature of the world and of life as well. The Sangha refers to all the disciples of the Buddha who have attained sainthood. It also refers to the holy order of the Buddha whose members lead the, the religious life and who are responsible for preserving his original teachings. By declaring one's willingness to be guided by the holy triple gem, one should not be led to think that one will thereby be mentally enslaved. Everyone must have some guidance for his spiritual development. But one must never give up one's right to think freely, intelligently and respectfully in response to whatever is taught in the name of religion. Every religion has certain sacred objects of veneration in which its followers are ex expected to have confidence. It is the fervent acceptance of these sacred objects which awaken the religious impulse in men and which in turn inspires them to lead a religious life. So this is called Tisarana. Buddhang saranang gachami Dhammang saranang gachami Sangang saranang gachami So what does this mean? It means I go to the Buddha for refuge. I go to the Dhamma for refuge. I go to the Sangha for refuge. Dutiampi Buddhang Saranang Gachami. Dutiampi Dhammang Saranang Gachami. Dutiampi Sangang Saranang Gachami. This means a second time I go to the Buddha for refuge. A second time I go to the Dhamma for refuge. A second time I go to the Sangha for refuge. Tatiampi Buddhang Saranang Gachami. Tatiampi Dhammang Saranang Gachami. Tatiampi Sangang Saranang Gachami. This means for the third time, I go to the Buddha for refuge. For the third time, I go to Dhamma for refuge. And then for the third time, I go to the Sangha for refuge.
The following precepts are recited and observed by every Buddhist the first thing in the morning and the last thing at night. These precepts are also recited before the commencement of all Buddhist meetings or gatherings. By reciting these before the commencement of any meeting or activity, Buddhists are reminded to observe these principles and to purify their minds while carrying out their responsibilities. Buddhists do not regard these precepts as commandments, but observe them voluntarily. At the same time, they do not believe that there will be divine punishment for those who do not follow the precepts, although those who violate these universal principles have to face the consequences according to the natural laws of cause and effect. Every Buddhist must remember these noble precepts in his daily life and try to live up to them. If you like to know more about these Panchasila or the five precepts, please refer to the um, my video in detail about the Panchasila. So, what are the Panchasila? Panati pata veramani sika padang samadhyami. Adinna dana veramani sika padang samadhyami. Kame sumicha chara veramani sika padang samadhyami. Musavada veramani sika padang samadhyami. Surame re majapama dattana veramani sika padang samadhyami. So, what do these mean? Panati pata veramani sika padang samadhyami is. I refrain from killing animals. Adinna dana veramani sikha padang samadhyami means to refrain from taking which is not given. Then kame sumicha chara veramani sikha padang samadhyami is to refrain from sexual misconduct. Musavada veramani sikha padang samadhyami means to refrain from false speech. Suramere majapama dattana veramani sikha padang samadhyami means to refrain from intoxicants and harmful drugs. So now that you know the meaning of namo tassa chanting, next time you say it, remember the meaning of it and why this, is, this chanting is so significant. Thank you for watching another video. I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a blessed day. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.